Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Roberts. We are going to get that. We are going to work on that. Uh, so today, today I'm going to talk about nine presentation mistakes. Now, this was taken from Leanne Wilkinson at Engage Web, and uh, uh, I was handed this this morning. So we're going to improvise this morning. Uh, so number one, tailored message. Know your audience. It's very, it's very key to understand your audience when you are public speaking or when you are doing a presentation. Find out exactly what it is that you are wanting to talk about and understand what the audience are going to expect. So when they ask questions, kind of have an idea of what they're going to ask so that you can give as much value as possible. Number two, eye contact. Look at people in the eye. I love eye contact. I teach this as a video coach. Eye contact is so important when creating engagement because it makes people looking at you accountable. You're all accountable to me right now because I'm looking at you. Uh, so um, number three is distracting mannerisms. How many times you see people on stage and they're doing this and it looks like they're trying to flap away somewhere. It's really important to be mindful of your body language, that when you are standing and talking to people, that you look like you know what you're doing and that you're comfortable in your own skin. Number four, not rehearsing. Now, all right, I... I Credit where it's due. I haven't rehearsed this this morning, but if anyone could stand up and improvise, it's me. Um, but always understand the content in which you are delivering. Go over it numerous times because the more that you know it, like the back of your hand, the better you will be at delivering it. Low energy. How many times have we seen people that get on get up on stage and just go, "Hi everyone. So today uh, we're going to talk about um, this. I'm going to talk to you about this and." There's a big long agenda and we're going to keep on talking for ages. It, it's boring, isn't it? Have energy, big smiles, big personality, be a Joe Finity, all right? Um, and number six is data dumping. Now, I tell people who I coach or when I'm doing videos for people, you're not going to fit everything that you do into one video. It's just not going to happen. And it's the same with presentations. At the end of the day, just talk about what you're going to talk about. Don't divert off. People do this on Facebook Lives all the time. They get three, four people come halfway through and then they go back to the beginning to talk about the same old thing again. Talk about what you're going to talk about. Make sure that you've rehearsed what you're going to do and don't come off that script. You know? Number seven, not inspiring. When we talk, we need to uplift people. We need to make people feel like they can climb mountains. So make sure that when you are talking, that you are inspiring, you're using empathy, you're using facts and figures to educate, to engage, and all these things start to add up over time. Number eight, lack of pause. A lot of people talk really fast because they just want to get off stage. They don't want to be there. They really just want to keep on talking and they lose that breath. Then they go, and then their whole breathing pattern starts to change. It's just take a breath. It's okay to just pause and just look at people. It's absolutely fine. You're not going to die. Yeah. Uh, number nine. Not crafting a powerful opening uh, and a big bang. So usually when I when I, uh, a reference when I'm doing uh, videos uh, on LinkedIn or Facebook, I will tell people exactly what it is I'm going to be talking about. How to film in landscape. Hi, my name is Michael. So they automatically know what that presentation is going to be about. So when you are public speaking or when you are doing a presentation or whether you're doing a video on social media, give them the title of what you are going to talk about. Give them a big opening so it engages them, it gets them thinking, and it gets them focused. That's it this week. Thank you very much. Thank you.